Hello everybody, my name is Sherry. Welcome to my stamp studio. I feel like, well I've actually been here for a long time and I've done a lot of things, but it's mostly been um, some Zoom things. So I've been moving all the cords and kind of changing it around from when I do Zoom events to when I do uh, YouTube or just straight up film. Um, so a couple of things before I get going on today's real quick card and it's very early in the morning so it's dark outside. Um, I have a super full day uh, but I have a very early dentist appointment so I'm going to try to squeeze a quick video in before I get going to the um, dentist. So the card's going to be really quick but it's a super cute card and I'll explain a little bit about how I got to the process as I go. But all of your catalogs are in the mail. So if you are a customer of mine and you are expecting a catalog then hopefully you got a tracking number for it um, so if you didn't and you think you should be getting one then that doesn't mean like I have to use I had like I probably eight different Excel spreadsheets with all the different addresses so if you didn't get one then just shoot me an email and let me know but be watching your next the next email I do because I'm gonna have a little contest when you get your catalog and you put a little picture of you holding it up then I'm gonna do a prize drawing for a gift certificate so you be watching for that because it should be coming if you don't have anybody sending you a catalog and you're in the US and you want one then just send me a message and I'll be happy to add you now I used up all but one. I thought that I planned and I ordered lots and lots and lots of catalogs, um, but I only have one left. Well, and I have this one with my name on it. This is the one that we got a long time ago. Um, so I do have more on the way, but if you need one, then let me know and I will send you one. So my planning was actually pretty good considering I got them all out and I have one left. So the other thing is my Try It class has, um, registration has opened for it. It's probably not quite half full, but it, the registration will close on January 1st, and I'm, I'm including more spots this year than normal. So if you're unfamiliar with my Try It class, I do one every time that a new catalog comes out. You will do 10 projects together online. Um, each one will have a, a video to show you how to put the cards together. You don't need any stamps, you don't need any dies, you don't need any of the folders. Everything that you get will be provided. Um, if you want to add sentiments later, then you can do that with any of your stamps. Um, every card will be, start. I start with the new papers, but then they all have, in addition to the new papers, and I try to cram as many as they I can on it, they all have a PDF. I try to do some fun folds, some fun layouts, um, so you can use that PDF later. And then they all have a new ribbon, a new embellishment, some will have new punches, some will have new die cuts. I do that for you. So everything on them is new. So you get to try it, that's why I call it that. You get to try all of the new stuff in the new catalog. So here's some past ones, um, and you'll recognize some old, old things. So here was the strawberry paper. Um, here was the cabin. This was one of our favorites. You can see it's a, in addition to being new stuff, it was new ribbon, new papers, um, the new sequins, but it's also a fun layout. Here's when this paper was new. Here's when this paper was new and everything comes die cut ready for you to use. Here's when this was new. So they're fun folds. They're um, all easy to put together and because of our paper the way it is you don't need stamps like and when we go through the class I show you all of the new sweets and all of the new things and then show you how you could use the stamps or how the stamps work with the dies. So we kind of walk through the catalog together as we do the class. And then the PDF is one that you can save if you have a tablet or you can save it on your computer and I give it to you in book form so you'll be able to push the little button at the beginning and that will take you to all of your tutorials. So in the future always five years later you can still hit that little button and know where all the videos are so you don't have to search for them later because they are private videos these never get put back online every card is there all of the measurements are there um so even though they're fun folds for this designed card you can remake them in the future so here's the strawberry one so it has all of the measurements and so if you don't have the strawberry paper because obviously that was a celebration paper and it ran out then you just substitute what you do have and I do go back because I've been doing the triad class for a minute. So this one, I may go back to my first triad class and pull out one of those designs and use that. So that registration is open um, and it does fill. So for what I'm gonna do now, uh, we did a Zoom class last night. That's why all my Zoom stuff was set up. So um, the US demonstrators, there were four of us that participated and we did a pastel class for all of the demonstrators in the US. So, you know, it's a little high pressure when you're teaching other demonstrators. So there were four of us and we all just did 
we came up with some ways to use the soft pastels. So over the course of the next couple of days, I'm going to show you all the cards that I did. So this first one, I chose the fastest one <laughs> since I have to get to the dentist. So you know, if you haven't used the pastels, so they're inexpensive. They don't come in an array of colors. I mean, there are small, but you know, when you're spoiled and you have all of Stampin' Up's colors and you look at this, you're like, that's not very many colors. If you go back to back in the day when I started with Stampin' Up, this would have been a lot of colors. But if you go back to art class, you know, and we knew that you could mix colors, then you can, we can get some great colors. And I'll show you that in one of the other um, videos that I do but they're inexpensive. So you don't buy these and thinking you made some great investment and that you must take care of them. They're the same price as a pack of paper. They're the same price as a packet of embellishments. They're meant to be used. They're meant to be used to get messy and to be replaced. They're $9. So that's actually cheaper than some of our embellishments. It's cheaper than some of our spools of ribbon. So get one that you can take care of and look beautiful and get the other ones that you can play with and smush them and use them and just replace them because we buy this stuff because it brings us joy and it brings us joy to make cards with to give to others not to keep them nice and pretty and then in 10 years be like i need to i need to clean up the space in this class craft room and i need to get rid of stuff you bought them to use them so i'm going to show you some fun ways to use them um, and so this first card I'm going to use, you're going to get to see some sneak peeks. Our new stamp set, set Sweet Conversations. It will be in the upcoming um, January to June mini catalog. So if you don't have it, let me know. Um, and it, you can see it's Conversation Hearts. So I wanted to kind of keep with that theme. And you know, Conversation Hearts are kind of chalky, like the, com the texture that they have. So this does come in Coastal Cabana, which is a lighter version of Bermuda Bay. I'm going to take my little heart and there's a couple of different sayings in this but it doesn't matter because we're going to cover that up so this one says you're cute in text form <laughs> so put that on there but I'm going to cover it right up so then a lot of times when you use our messy stuff you can get our silicon mat and it's really inexpensive it's in the back of the catalog and then I'm going to use our whisper white refill which is one of our refills and it's a pigment if you have some of our old pigment refills you could do this with other colors so I'm just gonna put a little bit there uh, well, actually I'm gonna need more this is the part of this video where I'm like do I have time to do this before I have to leave it to go to the dentist I'm hoping because for you I'm gonna be able to fast forward it because you don't want to watch me do all three hearts. So here's the Coastal Cabana. I am going to take my Take Your Pick and I have switched the pokey tip to this one. And then I'm just gonna scrape a whole bunch of this. And I have messed with these and tried all kinds of different techniques. And I have scraped a ton. And you can, when you look at my pastels, you can't even hardly tell that they've been used. So I'm just gonna color this and it makes it like a milk paint. You know, if you've painted any furniture with milk paint, it kind of has that look when you're done. So I'm just going to leave that there in case I need to make more. And then this is an old Wink of Stella. If you follow my channel, you know I love to save these to use for a brush. And this is the one I've been using all week. Um, so it doesn't dry. You can see it's still nice and wet. You do need to put the lid back on it. So I'm just going to grab some of this, kind of mix it together. And then you just start painting. And I'm going to go right up to the edge. And I don't want to mix it all at once because I do want it to have a little bit of variation of color. I don't want it to all be flat because I want that fun milk paint look. But see, it's going to cover that right up. Because the pigment is opaque. So it kind of helps both ways because it takes the pigment ink a little bit of time to dry. And the chalk can rub off. So it helps the chalk part, helps the white craft ink dry faster because it's putting some dry stuff in it and obviously then the pigment paint is setting the chalk as you go but super pretty and when it, when I come back from the dentist which I hate going to the dentist so you know this is a good way to spend the little um I have to leave for the dentist at 7 45 so that tells you how early it is here um but it's also getting my mind off of it before I have to go. Just go 
right up to those edges and color it like that. Now I'm going to do the other two and I will fast forward, but I'm going to take pictures of this in the light so you'll be able to see it a little bit better and put those on my blog. Okay, so I finished these off. You can see I have quite a lot left. That's what happens when you're trying a new technique. You don't really know. I would just, if I had time, I would make a couple of extra cards. Um, and I think I'm going to go to the dentist and I'm going to do a tiny bit of shopping because it's on the other side of town. And I will come back. And then when I do my next video, I will tell you if this is still wet. I have a feeling that it will be wet enough that I can still use. And this, obviously, it's I've had this in here for several days and it's still wet. So it should be good. So let's move on now to putting this card together. Now those are pretty wet. So if you want, you can take a second and you can heat set them with your embossing gun. I don't have a second, so I'm not going to take the time and do that with my embossing gun. So I have a piece of um, Coastal Cabana paper for the back of my card. This also does get your hands dirty, so if you have a second, then I would just take something and wipe your hands off. I don't have a second, and at least the, the chalk that I've used on this one is the same color. So we've got that going for us. Now for this, I've already taken the time and I use, this is another, a couple of more sneak peeks. This is one of the new dies from our new rainbow set. So you can see it makes a little row of rainbows. And then this is our new blue, I think it's called blue and pink. It's kind of like our rose golden um, gold shimmer paper. It's, this is more of a glimmer paper. I can't remember exactly what it's called. So I'm gonna use our um, Seal Plus. I'm gonna put this right along the edge and I cut this six, it comes 12 by 12, this paper. So I'm just gonna trim it when I put it on here. That way I can kind of put, see so I can get whole rainbows to a whole rainbow. And then there's a little saying in here. You can see I covered up the Valentine part of this card so it doesn't need to be a Valentine. It can just be, this would be so fun if you have like a, da a daughter or a granddaughter and you just want to send them a card, especially if you have one in college, because sometimes, you know, we just need something to cheer up those girls in our lives. This is happy to have you in my life. So add that in some Bermuda Bay, which again, these two colors complement each other really nicely. So I'm just going to add this on here. And the Seal Plus doesn't need a lot, but I'm going to need it in a second. So I'm going to add this over here. I want to see as much of this as possible. And I know it looks a little crooked, but you know, I'm in a hurry and we're going to, it's not going to look crooked after we get the next step on it. So now I'm just going to open this up. I don't even have to open it, flip it over and take my scissors and then just trim this off right here. That way you get the best, whoops, I'll move to that. It's because I didn't press very hard because those are um, still wet. So let's cut this and I'll put that on there. So just trim that and now we'll stick these back on here. I'm gonna put a little bit up at the top so I can touch there where there's no. There we go, that'll hold it because I can touch there. Now I'm gonna take my Seal Plus and draw a little line down where the two papers meet. So this is gonna help hold that white paper on as well. I stuck my finger to it. A little bit more up here. And then I'm gonna take our pool party ribbon, which is just another, I love this ribbon because it's so sheer. So even though it's pool party and I didn't use those colors, it will work nicely on here. And I'm just gonna scrunch it because I love the nice little romantic, princessy kind of feel that this card has to it and this just adds to it. So you're just gonna scrunch it on. That's why you wanna use the Seal Plus. The Seal, um, I had had camp. I've had such a busy week because, you know, when you are your own boss, when I used to work in the real world, I would take a job and before I would take the job, I would be like, I don't work the week of Christmas. <laughs> it was just a stipulation I had. And if they wanted to hire me, then they would agree that I didn't work the week of Christmas. Um, and so now that I'm my, my own boss, I also would like not to work the, the few days preceding Christmas 
because you know, as a mom, you have a lot of stuff that you want to do and stuff you want to finish up and bake and all that. So I've been working super hard trying to get everything done. So I had a busy week last week and I had camp and I was making this card and my seal plus was still in with my camp stuff. So I thought, well, I'm just going to try it with the seal. And I came back in the next morning and the ribbon was just flat open on the table. It hadn't even stuck anywhere to the card. So the seal, I mean, the seal plus will work. The seal regular does not trust me. So here's that. And then for the embellishment I used, and I think that these are part of that suite. They're also my free gift with purchase if you buy anything from me online in December, um, because we'll be able to order them in January, so I'll get them for you then. But they are iridescent, they're beautiful um, rhinestones. And they come in one, two, three different sizes. They'll be included in the Try It, as well a card, you'll get a little bit of that paper and something. So I'm just gonna add three kind of wherever. So super simple, a fun way to use those um, pastels. And you can see it's already starting to dry, but it gives it that super fun milk paint chalky kind of look. And it also sets it. So it's just a great fun little card. And I know when my daughter had been in college, if I had sent her to the center this, it just would have brightened her day. Um, there's all those girly girls in your life, they would just love to get it from the ones that are um, our little tiny ones, you know, that are three, she would like it. And you could always, it can be a Valentine. You can do it with the, the purple and it would be really pretty. But I also have girly girls in my life that are 60 and they would like to get it too. So there you go. Now, unfortunately I have to leave and I have to go to the dentist, but I do have um, two other cards that include three techniques. Um, Cause one of the cards has um, it's my wow card and it has two totally different techniques using the pastels. So I know I've been doing the how to series um, and I've gotten kind of waylaid because I've been doing so much actual work. So this wasn't the how to, but when I got asked to do the, um, the Stampin' Up! Zoom event for the demonstrators, then the pastels became my how-to because I had to do it for them. So I had to work on coming up with some techniques. So that is going to be my how-to. I do have the stuff for, I actually filmed part of the Cut and Emboss how-tos. I just have not done anything with the film. So everybody have a great day. If you need a catalog, if you're interested in Try It, make sure you're on my email list. And then that way it, you'll get all the information. Everybody have a great one. Bye.